as well. <clears throat> Yet, Erida's absence is a greater concern. This chamber is just how my father described it. It seemed right. Only through the stories he told, though none involved the restless dead. Erida would not have barred the path of the dead like this. The spirits should be free to roam within the earth. Lilith. Strange. The door is locked with an earthen seal. What was it my father said about this? Wardstones, that's it. If you bring me one from the nearby cairns, I think I can open the way. Skull. Oh, that did it. Maybe this will ease the dead. It's a start, at least.
Demonic markings. Lilith's been here. Something's written on the altar. By stone and root, by tears and pain, we bear this flame that must remain. Dead eyes stained with ash and ember, cursed are we who must remember. Ah, an elegy written by Eretha. This... This is a memorial to all who died fighting Astaroth. The weak perish. your enemy. She must be bending this hero to her will. Erida would never stand for it. Unless... Oh, something has happened. We don't know what it is. Come on. I'm out of essence. This must be the cairn of the elders. So much defiled. Demonic scars upon their grave and druid runes to rouse the dead. Growing weaker. They look to the cathedral. These runes, the delicate touch. This is Erida's work. Why would you be aligned with the demon? I have seen others fall under Lilith's control. Erida was sworn to keep the dead at peace. What do we do? We'll need to stop her. Right. Solutions are found ahead, not behind, as Father says. Hear that? Something screaming in rage ahead. Find rest. Arlo, did you think we'd so easily join the dead, lad? How did you find your way up here? 
Through the cairns. Through them? Mighty brave of you. And mighty foolish. Eirida came through with a horned woman. Not her normal company, to be sure. Ah. Lilith. They headed towards Solitude. The top of the hill. The sound of Eirida's Talharpa carried with the wind. And then, this madness began. If your aim is to follow them, you won't get far with all this fog. It seems to be drawn to the risen remains. We spotted others in the hills before this one tore from the earth. I'll stay here and protect these two. The fog is too near to leave them undefended. The stones defend us, lad. I remember when you were still alone. I'm staying, Arlo. <laughs> Stubborn like your father. That will keep you alive. Much safer than stumbling through all this fog. These huts are more than just stone. My ancestors blessed them to ward off storm and spirit alike. When the wicked wind starts to moan, best to shelter in the safety of stone. <sighs> right you are, lass. I told them to stay put, but they all fled when the fog crept in. I'm sure they're safe. They know these hills better than anyone. But fear has a way of making the wise into fools. I'm a friend of his father. Met him in the days of Ash. Saved his life, actually. <laughs> if you asked him, he'd probably claim he saved mine. Hasn't come up this way in a long while, but he used to. Now and then I'd even go and share a pint with him in his fancy house. <laughs> That's how I came to know Yorin. Have enough food to last us weeks. Sharpen my blade too, in case any spirits get too close. You taught her well. Not so much to learn from someone like me. The truth is, she's the reason I've lasted so long up here.
are clear now. We need to get to Braystack. It's safer there. We've lasted this long and survived worse. You've been fortunate. Braystack. Swarming with those cathedral gobshites. Please, Arlo. Just for now. Maybe we should go with him, Dad. <sighs> well... The ale would be welcome. I will deal with Erida and Lilith. See them safely to Braystag. I... I will. Thank you. <laughs> 